Hello everyone, for those who are new here, I am May, an artist and life 2D rigger. Today I'll be teaching you how to rig liquid physics. The asset we will be using for today's lesson will be available for free to download on my coffee, both the fully rigged version and the art PSD. So you can follow along this video and learn step by step how to rig liquid physics and how to apply some of the tips that I will be giving today in other things as well. We are gonna start by making a new parameter. I'm gonna be naming it mouse x and then we're gonna duplicate it and name it mouse y we're gonna be connecting basically the movement left and right to those parameters when you have a model you have uncle x uncle y uncle z but since we don't have anything like that here we're gonna be making that and then we're gonna go into physics tab into preview and then settings of the cursor tracking and you're gonna set this into right mouse button x and y so once we set up the physics you will be able to move your mouse left and right and the physics will follow along with the movement i'm gonna be providing the parameter setup for the simple version and later on the complex version you can pause and copy everything or even just open the file that is provided with the fully rigged version and study it there but in this video i'm also gonna have a voiceover explaining some general ideas behind my workflow so basically i'm starting with the left and right movement and as you can see i have two parameters for it the first one is the more general movement and then the second one we add more details to the left and right movement so the general rule that i follow when i work is start from the bigger movements start from the bigger peaks and then go into details i start with a general left and right move then i add one more parameter for more details on the left and right movement that could be the splash feeling that the water could have when it hits on the edges and then again we go with the y movement up and down we start with a bigger one the second y movement is the surface which is the more detailed movement within the rigging the surface will be seen more as the water goes down and it will be seen less as the water goes up. I think for beginners the physics tab can be the most confusing one but even now after having so much experience with life 2d and have worked on so many models this is the only thing you will follow it's all trial and error you start with the base numbers and you tweak them until you feel like the movement is close to what you have in mind now as you go with experience you kind of know a bit better what numbers you're gonna edit and how much you're gonna adjust them from the very beginning beginning for example, for the water, I didn't want it to be shaking too much because I don't think that's what liquid would look like. So I set the shaking values low instead of having them to 0 0.95, which is the default. So remember, all you do in the physics tab is trial and error. You can look around what other people edit usually and you will learn eventually and get a feeling of what you have to edit and how you play around with the numbers. Now starting with the one layer asset of the same water i make sure that i add a lot of points around the water and then around the surface which is on the same layer as the rest of the water i try to make as many points as possible to separate it with the rest of the water so i can edit it later without affecting the rest of the layer but as you can see i'm following the same movement i even have them linked in the same parameter just to show you how sometimes layer separation doesn't have to affect the end result as long as you edit the art mess of the layer properly You can see here for the water Y2 movement, I don't have a deformer, but I link the layer itself straight into the parameter and I edit that instead. And ta-da! The results are the same. Can you even tell which one has more separation? I don't think so. Now we're gonna be moving into the more complex asset 
that I have provided. When it comes to the water movement, it's the same theory as what we learned earlier. You can see it here as I showcase the parameters movement. We have the same things, water left and right, and the detailed version of that, which is the splash of the water surface against the glass. And then we have a water up and down, and then the surface showing more and surface showing less. The rest of the layers are just the extra details we're gonna be adding. The sparkles, the bubble animation. Just a reminder, you can access the file that I'm showing in this video as well for free on my coffee page. As you can see here, art messes do matter a lot. You can tell from the side that I had just a few points in the art mess. When I do edit the deformer, it doesn't come out as smooth and there is a weird triangle forming. That's why I went ahead and edited it again, the art mess, and added more points. And now, as you can see, when I edit the deformer, the art layer itself inside the deformer gets deformed more smoothly. As you're watching the complex version of the liquid asset rigging, you will notice that it's just the same logic as a simple one. That's why I started off with the simple ones. Because what makes the difference between the simple version and the complex one is just barely the more details and the more flexibility we have with the layers. As you can see, I'm doing kind of the same steps as the water going up and down, left and right, but adding a few more details, such as the surface having some extra movement. If we remove the extra layers that we added on the complex asset, you will notice that they're basically all the same. The movement has the same theory behind it, and all the extra things we added just add a feeling of parallax since there is movement between its object. You may notice in the file that I have provided, all the water bubbles are in one layer. Here, I want to show you how we can separate them within Life2D in different layers. As you can see, I made the art mess for each one individually. And after that, I copy paste the layer of the water bubbles a couple of times. If the bubbles are five, I'll just copy paste it five times. And then I go on each layer and delete everything else except the bubble that I want to leave in that layer. That way, at the end you have all the bubbles separated into individual layers within life 2 d and they are ready to edit individually for animation we have point 0 and point 0.1 so point 0 and point 0.1 will always be place a and then we're gonna be changing the place and the opacity of the object within the point 0 and 1 As you can see, here is the movement and how it works. If you feel like you need to make any adjustments, you can go to the parameter and adjust the numbers. There is no right or wrong here. It's just based on preference and what you like. And this is what I'm going to do with the rest of the bubbles. I follow the same exact path. I set them in the animation parameter. They have point 0 and 1, the same place. And then the animation, the movement of the object happens in between those two points.
Once you're done with your animation, you open the form animation tab, you drag your live 2D file inside the timeline, select the first option, you can adjust the time of the animation, the speed, everything here. Because we have set the parameter as a repeat animation parameter, I just go to 0, 0, I create a keyframe of the 0, 0.0 movement and then I decided to make this 2 seconds long. So I go to the end of the animation timeline and I set it to repeat 2 times. You can also set to repeat 1 time, it's just preference. After that you export the file and now I'll show you how to add the animation file within the physics tab to play. We go into the physics tab on top left there is a playlist we add a new playlist i'll name it bubbles and then we add the first scene and now when you click on play it should play the animation and here is the final results i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them below and i will be answering them actively thank you for watching have a beautiful day bye bye